Saturday night po ulit pa sa inyo lahat. Okay. Um, so last week, ano bang pinag-uusapan natin, mga miracles, healing miracles ng Panginoong Jesus sa ata uh, nakita nga natin, brothers and sisters, that it takes faith, no? Uh, in order for us to uh, get our miracles, yun po yung number one na dapat kasama, no? Na ingredient. And then, uh, kasama rin po ang uh, obedience, no at uh, humility in order for us to to get a miracle. Ngayon gabi pag-uusapan naman natin that sometimes it also takes faith and courage in order for us to get a miracle. So bago tayo mag-umpisa mon pa uh, opening prayer naman. Thank you Lord sa your blessing and faith and perseverance and treatments. Thank you for your love. Wisdom na binibigay mo sa amin sa araw-araw na mga decisions namin. Your protection and healing and send. thank you. Thank you Lord for sending forth your angels that surrounds us, protecting us and guiding us. In Jesus name, Amen. 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 So, uh, doon po tayo ngayon sa Mark uh, 5, 21 to 33. No? Sino mo rin ang mata? Sino na? Okay, go. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him when he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came, and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded earnestly with him, My daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. And live. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And the woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all, all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the, in the crowd and touched his cloak. Because she thought, if I touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt, <clears throat> and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power, the power had gone out from him. He turned around. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered. And yet you can ask, Who, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what, ha what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear. Told him the, the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has sealed you. Go in peace and be free from your suffering. No, galeng, no? Thank you, Dandan, no? Um, I know, brothers and sisters, you may have heard this story no, over and over again. Kasi isotin to sa mga favorite natin, ano? 
But tonight, uh, let's let's um, review ulit natin and let's see kung ano yung mensahe naman ng Panginoon sa, sa atin ngayon gabi tungkol dito sa kwento ng babae. Actually, hindi yung kwento ni Jairus yung pag-usapan natin ngayon, kundi yung kwento ng leading woman for 12 years. Ano? So, uh, bago natin pag-usapan yung woman, pag-usapan nga natin sumandali yung crowd. No? So, when Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. No? So a large crowd followed him and pressed around him. No? So talagang uh, people are expecting him kasi ang dami niya ng ginawang miracles. So I'm sure, no, either may mga expectators doon, spectators, meron din mga na kailangan din siguro ng kanilang miracle, hoping that Jesus would, you know, save them, redeem them, whatever their misery is. No? Siguro na, narinig talaga nila at... Uh, kahit sino naman, no? kung naka, nakarinig tayo na may gumagawa ng bilagro, no? may nagpapagaling, may uh, uh, nagpaalis ng demon possessed ng mga natin. tao. Tingnan natin, tara, no? tara. No? So they were all there, no? ang daming crowd. No? At uh, ito nga kasi nga, the Lord Jesus was fulfilling His promise na He has come no? to heal, no? to heal many sick no? and to restore na whatever yung mga uh, demon possess ay ma-restore to, to their health. No? So, yun yung, yung crowd na nakita ni Dan. So, do you think the crowd means a miracle too? Maybe, no? Maybe. Some of them are seeking him because they too need a miracle. Kagaya nga nitong babae na to na sabi doon, when Jesus, when she heard about Jesus, no? Dali-dali na siyang pumunta doon kay Jesus, no? But, uh, talking about the crowd, bakit kaya medyo na-single out itong babae na siya lang ang nabigyan ng miracle despite, no? Despite na nandun din sila doon sa presensya ng Panginoon Jesus. Maybe, no? Ang rason doon is maybe because they don't need the miracle desperately like this woman, no? Or maybe they don't have the courage and faith to get their miracle as well, di ba? Okay, so, yun ang, 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 ang nakita ko dito, no? Na sometimes, uh, kasa, minsan tayo din, part ng crowd. Nandiyan lang tayo, no? We, we need something, we need a miracle, pero hindi naman natin alam kung paano natin makuha yung miracle natin, no? Kaya we are just crowd, crowding Jesus, pero hindi naman natin na-express yung ating faith sa Panginoon. Kasi hindi ba sa Lord? Ask and you shall receive. No? Ask and you shall receive. So let's talk about the woman na. No? So the woman was there subject to bleeding for 12 years. Hindi, hindi pa umus ang dugo ng babae nito. No? Oh, 12 years siguro, anemic na talaga itong babae na ito. Kasi bleeding. No? And sabi do, dito, she had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors. Kung ano-ano siguro ang test, ang pinagagagawa sa kanya, just to know kung ano ba talaga ang problema, or ang dami ng gamot na pinabili, o marami na. Pero, instead of getting better, she grew worse. No? Lumala pa yung kanyang sakit instead na nagumaling. No? Talagang uh, she spent all she had, sabi dito, wala na. Hopeless na, wala na siyang pag-asa. At ito nga, nung narinig niya ang Panginoong Yesus, ay dali-dali na siyang pumunta to. Grimulian, she was bleeding for 12 years. And, uh, may effort naman siya, no? To, in order to get healing, no? Pumunta sa mga doktor. Pero yun nga, she spent even all her money, but no one could heal her. So, medyo siguro, hirap na hirap na itong babae na ito for blood loss, no? At uh, very desperate na yung situation. Maybe even she could die very soon if her situation continues, no? Pero, yun nga, no? Nung narinig niya si Jesus, pumunta siya doon. So, babalikan ko lang konti sa Leviticus 15. Sinasabi doon that, kaya mong basahin mo, 
when a woman has a discharge of blood up for many days at a time other than her monthly period or has a discharge that continues beyond her period, she will be unclean as long as she has the discharge. Mm -hmm. Just as in the days of her period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any... Sige, yun. So, yun nga, no? Ganun pala, no? no? So, unclean na naman. So, last week, pinag-usapan natin yung ten lepers, ano? And, uh, yun nga, unclean sila. So, kagaya rin itong babae na to, kung continuous pala yung, yung discharge ng dugo, no? Unclean din ang tawag sa'yo, no? So, parang, parang may leprosy na rin yung dating, no? So, they, pag tinabi, sinabi pong unclean, no, hindi ka pwedeng lumapit, no? Hindi ka pwedeng makipag-mingle sa mga tao, no? Kasi nga, uh, kahit yung mga makakatabi mo lang, ma magiging unclean na rin sila, no? You must keep the Israelites separate from things to make them unclean, sabi dito, no? Yon. So, the woman's situation of a situation na she is unclean. She has to hide her face from the people dapat lumayo, no? And, Ito, may crowd daw na pressing kay Jesus na talagang dikit-dikit subuhan. Ang daming sumusunod kay Jesus. O paano yan, no? I-unclean siya. Siguro nakapalokbong para hindi makita, no? And, uh, yun nga. Because she is already weak also from blood loss. Siguro talagang inipon niya na yung natitirang lakas, no? Ano man pa ang natitirang lakas. She pushed herself doon sa crowd, no? doon sa pressing crowd. Medyo siguro laging na natutumba o na dadanglit ng mga tao. No? But because she's desperate for healing, she took courage to go even when there could be possible obstacles. Diba? Diba? Pwede rin. Paano kung nakita siya? Paano kung nakilala siya? Paano kung, paano kung yung dugo niya ay talagang pumapatak-patak mga dyan? Ano? What if the crowd saw her? No, before she gets to Jesus, di palalayasin sa doon, paalisin siya. Tapos lahat pa ng mga naagalunan niya sa crowd ay magiging unclean. O kaya, but what if sa sobrang dikit-dikit mga taong daming tao, syempre minsan di ka na makahin mo. What if nahimatay na sa doon, di ba? So maraming pwedeng what if doon sa situation ng woman. But, despite of those possible what if talagang pumunta siya no? so ano ba yung mga isa-isahin natin yun na what could be the possible obstacles in our lives that keeps us from reaching Jesus no? so balik tayo sa buhay natin so itong babae nga yung unclean and uh, uh, yung tawag sa kanila unclean and yung physically, hirap siyang pumunta doon. So, what are the possible obstacles naman sa buhay natin, brothers and sisters, that keeps us from reaching Jesus? Ano kaya? Yan na. Wrong thoughts. Ah, wrong thoughts. Ano yung mga thoughts na halimbawa dito? I am unclean. Mm -hmm. I am unclean. I'm a sinner. Ha? Ano pa? I'm not good enough. Mm, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy of Jesus' attention. Or, marami kong ginawang kasalanan. Hindi ako makakalapit sa Panginoon kasi masama ang pangloob ng Panginoon sa akin. Galit siya sa akin. Di ba? Mga ganan. Those are wrong thoughts. No? Yung, it's the accusing voice coming from the enemy. Tama mo, no? Oh, kasi the Lord is very loving to us. No? Because of what the Lord Jesus has done, wala na talagang uh, si Lord na Jesus na lang at yung sacrifice siya nakikita ng Panginoon. So, wrong thoughts are some of the obstacles that keeps us from going to the Lord. No? Kakahiya ako eh, hindi, yung iba, di ba? Hindi ako makapasok niyan sa church, baka umusok ako, mga ganyan. Di ba? <laughs> wrong thoughts. Ano pa mo? What are possible obstacles? Kaya hindi tayo makalapit sa Panginoon. Wrong crowd. Oh, wrong crowd. 
sometimes aside from yung una wrong thoughts tayo yun personally minsan may mga tao pa no crowd that says to us na hindi tayo worthy of the love of the Lord or makasalanan tayo or hopeless kayo sa tayo o yung mga tao na sasabi na wala, hindi tayo pakitingan ng Panginoon kasi may mga naging kasalanan tayo. So those are wrong crowds who, who looks at our flaws or failures or mistakes more than yung potential natin or yung kakayaan natin o yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon. Yung mga tao that the crowd who believe us as yung minamaliit tayo, binibuli tayo because they see us as weak, no? O wala well, hindi ka papansinin na yung Panginoon kasi marami kang ginawang hindi tama, no? Kaya may sulit tayo ganyan. Yung pinapaisip niya na we are not worthy of God's attention. Those are the wrong crowd. Ano pa Aaron? What keeps us from Reaching Jesus. Worry. Worry, yan, no? Diba? Yung woman kanina, what if makita ko? What if mamuking ako? What if may matay ako bago kumarating doon, no? Or what if, diba, uh, makilala ako? Di, they will throw me out, diba? Pero sa atin, mga buhay, itong mga worry na to, yung... Um, Marami tayo masyadong inaalala sa buhay, no? Na mas malaki na yung worry natin kaysa sa Lord, no? We worry more. Uh, we look at our circumstances, we focus on our circumstances, on the problems of the world rather than focusing on the Lord, no? So we focus on the world more than we focus on the Lord. Tama. Those are worries. Ano ba yung mga worry ngayon? Mataas ang mga bilihin. Mataas ang presyo ng mga gasolina. Tuwing magagas kami ni Arvin eh. Taas na naman eh. Grabe naman eh. Tiig na. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, ilibre naman yung gas mo. Ano ba problema mo ma'am? O nga pala. Thank you Lord. Libre na pala yung gas. Oo. Oh, no. Pero sabi niyo siguro, eh, paano naman kami ate na, hindi libre yung anggas namin. God will provide for you, brothers and sisters, in other ways. No? Yung walang magkakasakit sa pamilya, walang na hospital. Those are blessings na, ano, hindi na tayo gagastos, di ba? Oh. So many things that worry. Meron pa ako narinig na, ay, yung Amerika daw, mag-Great Depression daw ulit. Eh ano na mangyari pag mag-Great Depression ang Amerika? Di lalo na naman may problema ang buong mundo kasi sila yung highest ano natin, di ba? Mga buyer natin ng mga produkto, ganyan. Kaya ba natin kontrolin yun, brothers and sisters? Kaya ba mag-worry tayo sa mangyayari sa Amerika? May magkagawa ba tayo? Kung mag tayo sa taas ng gasolina, wala naman din talaga tayo magagawa. We can only focus, Lord, kahit malong gasolina, sabi mo naman. I have, I have been young and old, sabi nga ni David, but I have never seen the righteous begging for bread. No? So, even in farming, the righteous will prosper. Amen. No? God can bring streams in the, dre- the desert, no, Marvin? Oh. No, you know, our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is sinner, awesome in power. Our God, our God. Diba? That's our God. So, yun. Sometimes it's the worry that keeps us from focusing on the Lord. Ano pa? Ano pa Arvin? What keeps us from reaching the Lord? Weak. Weakness, no? I'm too weak to go to Jesus. Mahina yung aking faith eh. So, masyadong malaki yung worry, masyadong malaki yung crowd, masyadong malaki yung maling tiniisip ko. Mas mahina. I cannot push myself to go through the crowd. No, I don't have enough strength. Mm-hmm. You know? Pero sabi na Lord, di ba? Let the weak say, I 
prayers. I am so. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Yon. So those are the possible reasons kung minsan na hindi tayo makalapit sa Panginoon. So, from thoughts, from proud, worry, weakness. So, ano ang gagawin natin? Substitute natin, brothers and sisters. Kagaya ko nga inawit natin kanina, no? Weak ba ako? No? I'm strong in the Lord. No? Why should I worry? No? So the woman has to overcome all the obstacles and wrong thoughts with hopeful and faith-filled thoughts. So, anong sabi niya? Iron? Verse 27. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his clothes. Because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Iron, iron. So, habang nagpupush siya sa mga crowd, nagpupush siya sa crowd, nakatuon lang siya nasaan si Jesus. Nasaan? Ayun, nakikita ko yung buhok niya. Ayun, nakikita ko yung, yung damit niya. Ayun lang. Sige, go, 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 go. Iisa lang ang focus. Nakatingin, no? Hanggang makita niya, hanggang ano. Pag, na, pag lumipas siguro si Jesus, susundan na naman niya kung nasaan. No? Kasi isa lang ang goal niya. Mahawakan ko lang ang laylayan ng kanyang damit. Kagaling na ako. Kagaling na ako. So, Every time, every step, mahawakan ko lang ang kanyang damit ka na ako. Every step, every push, every struggle, no, mahawakan ko lang ang damit ni Jesus. Gagaling ako, gagaling ako, gagaling ako. There is power in our words, brothers and sisters, di ba? Gagaling ako, gagaling ako. By His stripes, by His stripes, I am healed. I am healed. Tignan mo yung sinabi ng babae. If I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Yeah, I will, will be healed. Oh, I will be. I hope so. Oh, very sure, I know, very sure. Yun ang faith palangka. No. She pushed the crowd so he could reach Jesus and touch his cloak. She did not focus on how big the crowd is, no? Her eyes were just focused on Jesus, no? Kung ano bang worry ang nasa isip niya, no? dinismiss niya lahat siya. No? Worries and fears of what might happen. Yun nga, kasi unclean, pwede makita, pwede ibatokin, whatever. Pwede, no? And she gathered her strength. All she got, no? focusing on the Lord, si Kay, push lang, push lang, push. No? She combined strength, courage, and faith to do all this and get her miracle. No? So, ang galing, no? So, last week, I, two weeks ago, combination ng humility and faith, mm -hmm. no? Yung woman na may demon possessed na anak na sinasend away ng mga, mga disciples, no? Tapos, sumunod yung centurion na humility pa rin, no? Mm -hmm. I'm not worthy to, for you to come under my roof, but just say the word, mm -hmm. and my servant will be here. So last week naman yung ten lepers no na and as they went no sabi ni Lord go and show yourself to the priest and as they went they were healed so my obedience no they sabi ng Lord go they obeyed they got their miracle plus may bumalik na isa more miracles for those who go back and give thanks the grateful heart this time no itong woman na to she combined her strength Courage and faith to do all this to get her miracle. So, ibig sabihin, brothers and sisters, may mga time na hindi rin upo ka lang sa isang tambi, wala kang gagawin at may miracle na. May mga time that you have to do also what you need to do. My strength, courage, and faith to do, to go to the Lord. No, and as for healing, and yung pag pag substitute niya ng kanyang worries and fears when kaya ko to 
Pahawakan ko lang yung damit ng Lord. I will be here. My declaration, no? Every step of the way, I will be here. So, ibig sabihin, brothers and sisters, may mga hinihiling ba tayong miracle sa Lord? Healing, or financial, um, freedom, whatever. No? Kailangan pala, every day din natin i-declare. No? No weapon form against me will prosper, di ba? I will lend and not bow. Kung marami kayong utang na gaya ko, brothers and sisters, pwede natin i-recite, Lord, thank you. But very soon, I will learn and not borrow. I will learn and not borrow anymore. Diba? And it will. Okay? So, reflection natin, no? Um, siguro, if, if you feel like, do you feel unclean, unworthy of God's healing, unworthy of God's goodness? Do you fear that He will not let you touch Him? If you are feeling this way, brothers and sisters, you have to dismiss those thoughts and lies and substitute it with Jesus died for me so that my sins are forgiven. Jesus loves me. No? Declare your healing, declare your provision and it will. No? And halimbawa, masyadong maraming crowd. Alam mo yung crowd kasi siya yung minsan papagulo sa isip natin. Ano? Yung mga sabi-sabi ng mga naririnig natin, yung mga pinapanood natin social media, they make us all worry. Ibig mag sabihin, huwag na tayong magbasa. Pwede naman po. Para hindi tayong ma-worry. We can just read once or twice. Huwag yung mag-immerse. No? May mga nakilala pang ako. Nakakalungkot nun. May mga nag-away-away ng mga pamilya dahil lang Lenny Rodendo, Bongbong Marcos. Bakit kailangan mag-away? Kilala ba kayo nun? Para mag-awayan nyo siya sa pamilya nyo? Kailangan ba ma-break yung pamilya para lang sa mga taong di naman kayo kilala. No? So, things like that, they are crowds. They are crowds that crowd our mind na gagawa ng gulo sa buhay natin. I think, what we really need, itong babae ito straight eh, no? Focus na focus, bahala na kung anong nakikita ko sa crowd. And do not worry about things that you cannot control. No? Yan ang natutunan natin, no? Minsan hindi maiwasan, no? Minsan may pag-aaral, ha? Pero substitute ka agad, no? Hindi naman kasi tayo, ano, meta na walang pakiramdam. So, pag naisip, okay, oh, dismiss agad, no? Substitute. Hmm. Kasi the weapon may be formed, di ba sabi? But it won't prosper. So, no weapon formed against me will, will prosper. Ibig sabihin, The weapon may be formed eh. Ano ba yung mga weapon na yan? Ito nga, weapon yung mga worry, accusing voice na ginugulo yung mga isip natin. Those are the crowds that crowd our mind. Talaga. With everything, no? Oh. And sometimes, pag sobra na yan, nareceive mo lahat, in-immerse mo yung sarili mo dyan, mamaya nandihina ka na, nagkakasakit ka na for the wrong reasons. No? I, I think let's stop. Let's stop and dismiss all the thoughts of worry and it's time to focus on the Lord Jesus and His promises. No? Kailangan lang naman kung faith. So how, ito ang very striking din sa akin, brothers and sisters, that sabi ni Jesus, someone touched me, I know that power has gone out from me. Ang lakas, no? Ang lakas ng touch. Laylayan. Power, laylayan pa lang ng damit siya, ha? No? Laylayan lang ng damit ng, ng Panginoong Yesus. Ay, very powerful na. Pero bakit marami naman nakakaganyan si Lord habang naglalakad sa crowd? Bakit walang power na natatanggap yung mga dumidikit sa kanya sa crowd? Bakit? Ayo well, brothers and sisters, baka nakadikit lang tayo pero wala namang time power na nakukuha. Bakit kaya mo? Walang faith. Walang faith. No? So very, uh, yun yung very ingredient. To take power from the Lord Jesus is to have faith. No? So courage yung dinala ng babae to go to Jesus 
but to take power from Jesus takes faith. Nagalit po ba ang Panginoong Jesus? That power came out from Him? Hindi, di ba? Hinanap niya lang. Sino yung anting din ng faith na kumuha ng power sa akin? Yun. Gusto niyang makilala. Kasi gusto niyang ma-recognize. Pero napansin niya, brothers and sisters, hindi naman po nagalit ang Panginoong Jesus that power was taken out from Him. No? The Lord is willing to give us power. Diba? Ibinigay. No? Dito sa Roman na to, wala, wala pa, hindi pa lang sakripay si Jesus eh. Kaya, yung faith talaga ito. No? Pero, mapalad tayo, brothers and sisters. Jesus died for us and He gave us the power, that same power that raised Him from the dead. Ang tindi pala, very powerful pala tayo, brothers and sisters. Pero, kung nakikiganun-ganun lang tayo, na walang faith sa Panginoong Jesus, hindi ko natin makukuha yung power. Okay, so yun nga, brothers and sisters, paano ba natin matouch si Jesus and take power from Him? So, lesson from the woman is, we have to rise up, no? Fight yung unworthy thoughts, yung unclean, di ba? Yung unclean and substitute it with God's promises. So, dapat, brothers and sisters, may bakon tayo ng mga promises ng Panginoon, ha? So, pagaya nung sa Romans 8.28, diba? That, sabi ng Lord, ah, Neither death nor life, angels or demons, or the present or future, nor any powers, neither height nor death nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of the Lord that is in Christ Jesus. So, diba? Mga ganyan na, pamalit natin doon sa mga maging thoughts. O kaya naman, ano pa, ano pa yung ginawa ng woman? Push the crowd aside. No? Uh, yung crowd, yung mga nang discourage no? So, uh, stand firm in faith, be courageous and be strong, no? Push the crowd away, kung baga, no? Ngayon, kung medyo nahirapan po tayo sa, di ba, yung crowd ay talagang enemy, Mayahin natin yung Jehoshaphat's prayer, di ba? Sabi ni Jehoshaphat, nung maraming um, uh, kaaway, no? sabi niya, Lord, we are powerless before this vast army. So pwede na natin sabi, Lord, I'm powerless before this crowd of worry and weakness and wrong thoughts you know, that comes against me. I don't know what to do. But my eyes are on you. Diba? Diba? Napraya rin natin. Diba? Kasi yun yung sinabi ni Joseph at ano? Lord, we are powerless before this vast army that is coming against us. We do not know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. Mga ganun, no? So, kung maraming enemy, brothers and sisters, minsan, no? Sa bahay, parang pakiramdam ko, bakit lahat kami masama pakiramdam? Ay, kinakas out ko po yung kalaban. Nagsasalit ako na na. Cast out the enemy in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever is trying to do, weighing us down, making us sick, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Ganyan po ang gawin natin. We cast out the crowd. Take courage, leave your worries behind and say, Everything works together for my good. Diba? Ano dyan yan sa Romans 8.28? Dugurit natin yan, no? And sabi sa Matthew 6.34, Do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow, we'll worry about yourself. Bahala na ang Lord, brothers and sisters. Yes, mahirap ang buhay na yun. Economy wise and so on. Pero, huwag natin i-welcome yung ganong thoughts. Kung di, Lord, ikaw naman ang may hawak pa ng mundo, hindi kami mag-aala na. Na? Merong study na 96% at pre memories natin hindi nangyayari. Oo, diba? Oo, nandun kanina. 96% yung ating ipinag-aalala ay hindi naman talaga mangyayari. Ibig sabihin yung accusing voice lang naglalagay sa ating mga isip para mag-alala tayo. Okay. 
Ano pa ang ginawa ng woman? She gathered all her strength and uh, conquered her weakness and went straight to the Lord. No. My hope is in you, Lord. I will walk but not faint. I will run and not grow weary. Yan lagi yung nararasat namin ni Abner. Pero yung uh, napapagod kami, no? Kaya ko to kayo. I'll run and not grow weary. Bawa na pumuhat ng kung ano na dyan, di ba? O, lahat tayo, ganun dapat. Pag, do, parang parang nakahatok na tayo. Sabi natin, Lord, my hope is in you. I will walk, but not faint. I will run and not go near. I'm strong in the Lord. Kahit na parang, ha, sabihin mo pa rin yun. Kasi sabi dito sa Isaiah 4031, hirap ano. Okay. Those who hope in the Lord will understand. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Yeah, that's what we're going to recite. And uh, lastly, no, na pansin ko lang, brothers and sisters, so natin kalimutan. Talagang uh, inanap ni Jesus, no, yung yung sino man yung kumuha ng power sa kanya. So the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, no, came trembling and fell at his feet. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. So walang pwedeng magsabing unclean. Oh, ikaw, natouch ka niya, natouch ka niya, unclean ka. Hindi, kasi clean na siya. Hmm, clean na. Instant. Instantly. Then Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. So when we receive our miracles, brothers and sisters, ito yung sinasabi na, don't let your miracle go unnoticed. Testify. No? Testify. Share. Kasi pag sinare ko natin yan, nakaka-encourage ko yan din sa mga uh, kapwa. So sabi nga ni Pastor na Sunday, no? When we testify, we do it for the glory of God. And two, the second reason is to encourage others. No? So when you receive your miracle, don't be silent or go unnoticed. Rejoice, testify about God's goodness and testify so that others could also be encouraged. So talagang kinomen ng Lord Jesus yung faith ng babaeng to that took power from him. No? So, anong ingredient ulit dito sa kanto na ito? To get a miracle, we need courage. Courage. Ano pa? Faith. Positive. No? Positive. Ano pa? Praise. Oh, pwede yan. Ito pa, Gerardo, ano pa? Hindi Okay, so yun, brothers and sisters. So, hopefully, na- nakatulong po yung ating kwento. Let's move forward, rise up, go to Jesus, and take power from Him. Because that's what He wants. He commends people who have faith in Him, who believes that He can give them the miracle. Again, the power that Rose Jesus from the dead is the power that He gives us. Yeah. Kaya kaya dapat natin yan. Okay, so, maraming salamat po. I hope na, na nakatulong po sa inyo ang ating pagbulay-bulay ng salita ng Panginoon. And to God be the glory. Amen. 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 Bye-bye po. God bless. God bless.